I'm about to show you two different videos, and I want to see if you can spot the difference. Here's video number one. We're about to drop a thousand basketballs out of an airplane to see if we can make one. Let's see what happens. And here's video number two. Without a doubt, the difference is the entire video. Video two is kind of like the type of video I used to edit before I had to really switch over to editing for YouTube clients. And the amount of things I needed to change and adjust to even have a chance for engagement or anything on YouTube was a bit more than I was expecting. So here's a few things I learned along the way. A big part of editing, especially on YouTube is consistency. See, when you have a client on YouTube or even your own channel that's posting one or two times a week or even every day, and depending on the client, you may not have a deadline, but consistency still applies. You don't have time to just lose motivation, especially for somebody else that's on YouTube. On the other hand, in my experience with more corporate videos, you have a little bit more leeway on how soon the project needs to be finished. Unless there's an early deadline that 100% needs to be discussed. Which I believe even if there isn't a specific deadline, setting one for yourself makes it real and makes you feel accountable for getting it done. You're able to take more time and usually the projects are less consistent for that client. Of course, there's retainers that could play into that, but right now we're gonna talk about one-off projects. And again, I'm speaking from my experience here, but some days you'll just feel like not working on that project. And that is when you need to tell yourself that it won't be done unless you go get it done. Build some discipline and believe me, it will be worth it when you finally sit back and press export on that project that you never thought you were gonna be able to finish. One thing that is very different between corporate and YouTube editing is the amount of creativity that's needed. Corporate tends to be a bit more informational, show some text and very detailed on what the project or video is about. It doesn't really rely too much on creativity. Now, <laughs> YouTube is a lot heavier on the unique aspect of the project. It's not always about graphics that makes it more creative. The storytelling, sound design, and pacing are all things that play major roles in making a video. Creativity always comes down to inspiration, whether you realize it or not, from somewhere or something. With that being said, be around some things that could potentially inspire you on the creative side. That could be watching different videos, movies. I mean, you could go look at different paintings if you wanted to, because at the end of the day, they're all a form of art. For me personally, sometimes working outside of places that I usually work, just usually right here, that helps as well. Okay, YouTube is full of creative minds and taking inspiration from that won't hurt. Just make sure you take bits and pieces and make something of your own out of it. Now this might surprise some of you, but I'm naturally more of an introverted person. So this was something I needed to learn fast. With YouTube, since most of the time, Projects need to be done relatively quick, depending on the genre you're editing in. Communication needs to be constant with updates and how the project is meeting the deadline. Now this almost applies to both corporate and YouTube, but I feel like YouTube needs it a little bit more because of how consistent it is and understanding the client's personality and how they want it to be put together. With corporate, I mean, you pretty much just need the information and give some updates when you're working on getting the project done. And if they have some notes, you communicate on that. Either way, it's important in general. And if I'm being honest, it's still something I do my best to improve on. I'm not bashing corporate editing. Editing styles play a big purpose of the video. Corporate editing is more professional and conveys a level of detail and information for its targeted audience to sell something most of the time. YouTube editing is a bit more quirky at times with jokes, effects, and there's a lot more room for creative freedom. You're not necessarily limited to the brand's guidelines 
from a creative perspective. I mean, you could take someone that's been editing corporate for a very long time, pretty much mastered it, then throw them on editing a YouTube project, and more than likely, they're gonna have to learn the YouTube style. And when I say YouTube style, I'm not talking about being confined and making the same content as everybody else, but applying the similarities of what makes a YouTube video. Intrigue, creativity, and connecting with your audience. Editing on YouTube is different. It's a different style, it's a different way, you have to think about things differently. And this is only a small portion of the things that I had to learn and am still learning when it comes to making content on YouTube. And one last thing, always make sure you're trying to improve and continue learning. Never think that you know it all just because you figured something out. And if you keep on trying to improve 10 or 20 videos later, you'll go back to the first one and realize how much better your style has changed. If you wanna learn some more things on what makes a bad edit, I mean, I'm talking really bad, you can click over here, check that out. I'll see you at the next edit.